right, folks, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, and zucchini. It can be tough to get your kids to eat their veggies. Chef Jonathan Sawyer is the owner of Greenhouse Tavern and also the new place Noodle Cat. He's here with his beautiful wife, Amelia, to tell us how his kiddos get to eat their greens without complaining. He's also going to share a kid-friendly veggie recipe. Thanks so sure. much for being here. Thanks for having us. They're all adorable. We hear so much about them. And you always say, my kids eat their veggies, and yeah. they yeah. do. It's so funny because just as the band was playing, we were kind of chuckling because they're mm, just eating stuff. potatoes. and <laughs> Did your daughter not just shove one right yeah. in her mouth? Yeah. Just one. Potato. Still in her mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. They love their vegetables. They do. They do. How did that all start with you guys? Well, I mean, I think Amelia can probably talk about it a little better than I can, but for us, it's never really been about trickery. It's just about getting them to make the right vegetables. choices. We yeah. just feed them vegetables. We literally just feed them vegetables. We started when they were young, and that's what they do. Do they eat other, like, sugary stuff and ice cream? And No, we pretty much, um, I mean, they do eat ice cream and stuff randomly, um, but we pretty much, <laughs> thanks, we pretty much don't have a lot of, like, processed foods in our house. Mm -hmm. Um, but we really we integrate the kids with what we do like when we're cooking they help us cook um, when we go to the farmers market they help us pick out you know what they want when we go to we go to farms so like we've gone to a chicken farm where we've met chickens and right. you know we, so we involve them from yeah start to yeah yeah we involve them and we make it interesting and um, and and we put it on the table and if they don't eat it, they then they're hungry, and then the next day they eat. It's mind-boggling to see them <laughs> gobble this stuff up. So this Here. is Catcher, and Catcher, how old are you? Uh, I'm six. Six. He's six, and you're Louisiana. Four. And you're four. How do they get their names? I love their names. They're really cool. I don't know. We're a pretty creative family. So, uh, I mean, the way we think about the food, too, is also the way we think about education. You know, it's about arming our kids with the tools and the knowledge that they'll need for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. Not just tricking them into, into eating cauliflower this one time. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that when they're our age, the kids that they're raising are raised the same way that we raised them. And, and they're actually growing a taste for it because, you yeah. know, we see those sneaky chefs that put yeah. things inside brownies or, right. or cupcakes but um, it does like you said you're you're actually teaching them to and acquiring yeah. that, that delicious taste and something about touching it with your fingers as a kid if you pick the asparagus you know my kids didn't like asparagus till they met farmer Jones mm -hmm. and then they went into the field and they saw asparagus and they picked it and they cracked it and they ate it and just and from them on they were like they love I it. love asparagus yeah, they, they ate almost the too thing. much asparagus yeah. that day yeah. I was yeah. like okay we're, <laughs> things are gonna get crazy yeah. What parent has ever said that? I love it. Okay, so what are we going to make? Because we only have about a maybe sure. two minutes. What we love to do at home, and this is a really simple recipe to integrate the kids, is a tofu soup. Okay, we okay. can serve it cold as well, but I think it's a great way to get your kids to learn how to use a knife. And you love tofu, right, Louisiana? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is the knife that Louisiana uses. It's basically a butter knife, but okay. because tofu is so pliable, it can just go right through. It's like butter. And if you saw Catcher earlier, <laughs> he uses an actual kid's knife, which is yellow for him, and it cuts pretty fast as well. Will you show us how you how you can yeah. cut? Yeah. And mommy, will you pass me his bowl so there I can give him goes. some noodles? Hi, hi, hi. Go ahead and cut some tofu, bud. <laughs> She's got the microphone. Okay. So there he is, cutting. There you so go. they help right. you not just cook, they help you prepare. So they're exactly. helping you in the exactly. kitchen get the vegetables going. And, and this is cool because, like, I mean, we have all this fresh stuff here, but sometimes during the winter, you know, when, it's, when I'm home with them and I'm cooking, me, Louisiana and I will make the soup and we'll grab like frozen spinach and it'll be really hot and she'll put the frozen spinach in and it'll cook it and then it'll also cool it off. And, and she likes that because she's doing it, you know, right. so then she eats it and something she did and it just, little things like that. Are they like super simple. duper healthy? Um, not like crazy, you know, they don't ever eat ice cream or anything. Right. But they I do mean, have grandparents. So. Yeah, we have grandparents who randomly take them to <laughs> interesting places. <laughs> but, um, but for the most part, you know, you we, like that, Mike. We, don't, we don't have processed food in our house. <laughs> yeah. And that is so, that's like a great we, thing. We go to Jenny's and we'll get ice cream <laughs> and they'll eat dessert, you know, like, right. who's your favorite chef at the restaurant, dessert chef? Danko. Danko. She oh. loves our pastry she chef Danko. Danko donuts. So, yeah. You know, we, we, but we know also the ingredients are where, where um, they're coming from. Yeah, they're yeah, all pure. yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
We know there's not crazy chemicals. We can't pronounce it, yeah, and, yeah. and we're cool. Amelia, tell Thank us God. about your blog as we're kind of wrapping <laughs> things up over here. Um, <laughs> your family's very interesting. <laughs> they have to come with you all the time. <laughs> this is so cool. Um, my blog started when he was a little baby, and we lived in Manhattan. Um, he was opening a restaurant for Mike Simon, and... Um, Basically, I had been working in a nightclub before I had a baby, and obviously, when you have a one-month-old, you don't work in a nightclub. Uh, well, some people probably do, but <laughs> not me. Um, so I was home all the time, and I was, you know, really young with a kid, and all my friends were not. They did not have kids. So I just started writing. It was kind of just about how he worked a million hours, and I kind of just complained about it and made fun of him. And um, now it's more about <laughs> our family. I mean, in ja you know, in good and fun. But now it's more about our family and, and kind of um, the experiences we have with food and travel and the restaurants and just all that. You guys combined. all are just such a well-oiled machine. You guys work so well together. Yeah, you really yeah. do. Yeah, for a couple minutes we do it then, right? <laughs> you really do. It goes great. Just wrap up what you just made for us, the noodles. All right, so we then what I did was talking. we let the kids build their own bowls. So okay. that way if the catcher wants more peas today or Louisiana wants more carrots, they can personalize peas. their bowls. The cool thing about tofu is it absorbs any flavor you put in there. So we just have chicken stock typically at our house at all times left over from roasting a chicken. Mm -hmm. and and then we pour some of that with a little butter and miso over top of the noodles. And it's so and it's, simple. And it's so simple fresh, and so done. Yeah. Great ingredients. And you can use a freeze-dried, like, uh, okay. soba-style noodle. Oh, or you yeah. can use our ramen that we have from Ohio City Pasta. That's great. Uh, you can use any noodle. Like and that's minute. what I like, is noodles. You know, if you have kids, you don't want to be over top of the stove or in mm -hmm. and out of the oven for an hour. This literally took, as you saw, two and a half minutes yeah. to cook yeah, all the way through. And, and we're slurping. So Jonathan, it's so good to see you. Yeah, look, that. that's a slurp. Check it out. <laughs> These kids are precious. You're so cute. Oh, my gosh. I love them. Amelia, thanks for Thank coming today. Thank you for having a us. A lot of fun. You can find today's recipe on our website, fox8.com. Be sure you just click on the morning show link. <laughs> Eat your veggies, kiddos. I hope these guys inspired you. They inspired me. We'll be right back. Stay close. Thank you.